I'm John Erickson in Grand Chute. As Manufacturing Month continues, we're talking about women in manufacturing and the income opportunity. 22-year-old Ariana Noss has busy days. I'm working full-time at Walker Forge, and then I'm also going to school here full-time. That takes up about 16, 18 hours of my day, but uh, I signed up for it. She's a machining student at Fox Valley Tech. I definitely like uh, working with my hands and actually seeing that end product, that end goal. And she'd like to see more women in the manufacturing industry. There's six people in my department that are going to be retiring in the next two years. So that's a lot of openings to fill. And why not fill it up with both men and women, you know? According to the U.S. Department of Commerce, women make up 47% of America's workforce. But women make up only 30% of the manufacturing workforce. Fox Valley Tech instructor Eric Crowis has been teaching for 10 years, and he's seen some changes in the field. There are more women in it, and they're, you know, they're being successful at it, so, which is great. Signing up for work like this can come with a payoff. According to census data, women who work in manufacturing have an income 16% higher than the median pay for women in the overall workforce. But money wasn't the answer when I asked machining student Jennifer Bordeaux what motivates her. I love doing what, you know, I'm doing, working with my hands. Building products these students can see as they build their future, too. So if this idea interests you for work, how long does the machining program take here at Fox Valley Tech? Well, it's self-paced, can be under a year to a lot longer, depending on how fast someone goes. At Fox Valley Tech's Appleton campus, John Erickson, NBC 26.